What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> spying on me? Spying? Is that how you get your kicks? It's all right. It's just I think we found the new David Beckham. Right, that's it. That is it. I'm sick of you people. I'm leaving. If you're not going out now, you've got school tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, run away at the weekend when you've got your car back. Well, I'm not spending another second in this house with you utter twats! Where are you going? Paris or Milan? Fuck off! Oh, hello there. This is Mrs Cooper, Simon's mother, year 12. Simon and his friend Winnie McKenzie have come down with food poisoning. Must have been from the chicken. You put on your mum's voice. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs Cooper. Now you say your son is ill. Yes. Oh, well, Mr Gilbert, the head of six is just here. Um, I'll pass him over. Oh, no, there's really no need. Look, if we hurry, we can still make it in time for English. Hello? Hello, this is Mrs. Cooper. Simon is filming. Wait in the room, wait in the room, goodbye. Mrs. Cooper? Yeah? What exactly is wrong with Simon? Food poisoning. Okay, Simon. That's enough. I know you're bullshitting me. I think you better get into school. Cheers, all the best, God bless. I'd get in before you make things. Well, that was fucking dreadful. I think he bought it, though. What are you reading? The Enemy. I hate it. It's always wrong. It's basically shit. Still doesn't stop me buying it every week. Right, every week? Yep. So you buy it every week? Yeah. Not every week, though? Yes, every week. So every week? Are you broken? It's a lot of gel you've got in your hair. What? It smells quite strongly, too. Why are you telling this to me now? I'm just mentioning it. I can see you've got a lot in, that's all. What? I don't... I mean, I can't wash it now, can I? I've not got time. God, I don't know why you are like this sometimes. So, have you been down the Enterprise, then? Um... Oh, I just want to... Enter um, they have loads of brilliant up-and-coming bands. Ah, oh, I can't quite... I don't know. Ah, oh, just... Um... It's cool if you haven't. No, I don't think so. Oh, yes. Very, very nice. I think it's kind of hideous. Did you just drop us off here, Si? Oh, don't you want to live to school? Yeah, this is close enough. I don't want to be seen getting out of this shit heap. No, thanks, mate. See you later. Actually, I might get out too. Fine, see you at school. Honk if you want a blowjob. <laughs> we should stick it on Kerry. She loves giving blowjobs. We'd have to get a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, good one. Actually, I know where this should go. Oh, look, someone's got a funny bumper sticker. What does this one say? Honk if you want to... Ah, oh. what? I literally have no idea how they got there. It's just not very funny, though, is it? I mean, why would you want to drive around with that on the back of your car? It just makes you look dirty. I'm not. I mean, it's not like I'm obsessed with blowjobs or, or cocks. Honestly, I'm not. I just want you to know that I'm here for you. Thanks, mate. Just like I know that you're there for me if I need you. Yeah, of course. Good, because I need you to do something for me. OK, what is it? Have a look at my cock. Um... Not in a gay way. It's just something's gone wrong. I think looking at your cock at all is a bit gay. You spunked your pants in the common room during the day when there were people around? Yes. And then your pubes fell out? Yes. I think this is way out of my league. Just take a look at it. Normally it wouldn't matter, but I've got that date with Daisy in about two hours. What if she wants more than a snog? Even a snog's unlikely. No offence, but go on. Neil, how on earth is Jay allowed to ride your bike back without a licence or insurance? Don't shit your pants off in safety. Neil can't do it because of his arm. And the dealer's happy for me to take it because I used to be a stunt rider. It rhymes with stunt. Well, we know that's bollocks. Is it? Because I can show you a DVD of me leaping over five lorries on Blue Peter, if you like. Oh, wow. Did you make it into the Guinness Book of Fictional Records? Fuck off. I don't think Tara would be happy if I got one of these. She thinks they're death traps. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, time for another Tara update. What's that supposed to mean? To be fair, Tara's pretty spot on about most things. Beep, 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 this conversation beep, beep, is specifically about Tara! <laughs> <laughs> And Tara, you and him can have my room. Oh, thanks, sis. I'm not making the idea of you having sex at all. But Lucy's as well, I know you're doing it somewhere comfortable. Oh, absolutely. Only in her vagina. I meant in my bed. Um, so did I. Why'd you say vagina, then? Hmm. I know better than anyone that my penis isn't fucking working. It's OK. It's not fucking OK! It's not OK! Why don't you start? Every time I don't want one, it's there, and yet the one time I actually need it, nothing! OK, you're scaring me now. Just work, you stupid fucking thing! Get big! Tara, 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 look! I've almost got it! Oh, hi, everyone. It's Tara. Oh, cool. She says never contact her again. Cool. It's just that things are complicated with your mum and me, and not just sexually. It's getting late now, Dad. She used to have an incredible appetite for it. Incredible. Please. I don't want to hear about I you. I wish I could just switch off my urges. Problem solved. But I'm a very sexual person. Always have been. Is it the same for you? I'd better get going. 
I suppose I just always thought that we might, you know, we might. We have to go. I've got to go. I'm sorry. I'll see you soon, Tony. What? We might what? Say it. Come on. Make love. Was it make love? Carly, make love. Where's my fucking change? Could we maybe sit down and talk about us? And have you got any neurofen? It's just like. <laughs> Oh dear.